I am back from Mexico, back from our lovely, lovely holiday. And I am coming at you today with uh, what I bought in Mexico haul. Um, there's quite a variety of things. Uh, so let's get started. Um, I'm currently actually filming this at nine o'clock at night, so the lighting might be off, but I wanted to wait until like it got a lot cooler upstairs so I could film because it's been really hot here in England as well. So yes, let's get started because I feel this is probably going to be a long video. So I'll start with, even before we went on holiday, there were a few pieces uh, that were sort of travel related that I didn't get a chance to show you before we went, where I don't think I did at least. The first thing is this crossbody bag. This is from Kipling. As you know, if you saw my last haul, I've turned into a big Kipling fan. This is the D, so D-E-E, -E, crossbody bag. Um, I'm not quite sure what the print is, but it's on the outlet section of the website at the moment. Um, but it's like black with brown and sort of cream floral Aztec designs. Um, so this is what I had planned to take with me um, sort of on our excursions um, and sort of in the evenings. I actually, I think I only used this once because it was just a tiny bit smaller than what I needed to fit some of my items in. Um, but I have been using it actually the past couple of days that we've been back home here, um, just for every day. Um, it does fit quite a bit in, but obviously the items that I carry around are a bit larger. I wanted to fit my sunglasses, a camera, my instant Fujifilm camera, so um, it was just a little bit too small, um, but I mean, it didn't take up much room. And I mentioned, I think, that I didn't know whether these would come or not because they were coming from America and I got them on Amazon and the delivery date said it was supposed to come the morning or the day that we were leaving. Um, but luckily they came about three days before then, so that was fine. And it is this three set of Kipling pouches and these were super handy. All three of these came in really handy the whole holiday. This big one I used sort of around the airport and sitting in my seat on the plane. Um, I'll insert a couple of photos of me using it. It's just, it was great to put, um, you could put like your passport, your documents, your purse, your phone, headphones. Um, I put everything that was like going to be essential for me on the plane. So my headphones, lip balm, um, my camera, anything that I wanted to grab and have with me during the flight, I kept in that. And I did use it on one occasion as like my evening clutch um, because it does come with this detachable strap and just like a navy colour, um, like a very dark navy, almost black colour and I would pop it onto these other bags as well. So this one is probably the one I use the most and it's sort of uh, a gold bronze tone and I would use this as an evening clutch. All I would put in it is like my phone, a lipstick, my camera, and our key card, and that was that. And that sort of because of the colour, it went with everything. And then the other one I used in my big bag that I took. If you saw that video, if not, I will link it down below. Um, my last haul video, my last travel vlog, um, like what I was packing, um, and I put all of them my little bits and pieces, so like lip balm, any headache tablet, um, glasses cleaner, anything that might get lost in that big bag I would put in there. So those were super, super handy. I will now move on to the things I got whilst we're at the airport. One of the things that I do now since having sort of dealt a bit better with my travel anxiety, one of the things I like to do is shop at the airport. I find that it's something to look forward to and something to like take my mind off things. Um, so if you do suffer with travel anxiety, especially at airports, that's what I like to do. I think of the retail therapy aspect. Um, so I've got a few items. So I'll start with sort of beauty. The first thing is the perfume that I was planning on getting. And this is um, a Marc Jacobs perfume. Um, it's part of the Daisy Dreamline, and this is Twinkle. Um, this is super nice. I wore it for most of the holiday. It's just really sweet and fruity, so I love those sort of scents. It has that hint of floral, but it's definitely more on the fruity scent, which is why I like this and picked it out, because usually Marc Jacobs perfumes are too floral for me. 
Um, but yes, yeah, so that was sort of my holiday scent. I then got a blush, and this is from MAC. It's a mineralized blush in the color Sweet Enough. I will insert a little close up, but it's sort of a peach, it is definitely sort of a peachy pink, um, which I mean, I don't tend to go for peach colors, but it's, I mean, it's definitely more pinky nude, but it does have that hint of sort of peach. Um, it comes out a little darker than what I'm used to. Um, so I do have to be slightly more careful rather than sort of my everyday blush, which I can just chuck on. Um, but I did wear this quite a bit on holiday as well. And the final thing I got um, beauty-wise is this lipstick from Urban Decay. This is a cream finish in the colour Ravenswood. And it's what I'm wearing today. So it's your typical sort of nude mauve colour. Again, I'll put in a close-up, but uh, my typical colour really. So we had quite a bit of time before our plane boarded um, to just sort of mull around the gates, check out the shops and I stumbled quite happily along to the Kiki K stand, um, had a little browse, um, Darren was sat with our luggage so I had no one nagging me um, and I chose these two books. So the first one is by Ariana Huffington and it's her book Thrive. This is a book that she has published for many years, um, but this is a special edition cover for Kiki K, so it's sort of that blue with the gold foiling, and that's obviously what like grabbed my attention because I probably wouldn't have picked this up if it had her normal cover on it. And this is by the lady that founded um, the Huffington Post, and it talks um, about her challenges with work and sort of balancing that work and personal life balance and how work can sort of take over our lives and all about sort of being in the moment and just being mindful. I was very into sort of mindfulness and like reading a lot about that on holiday. I had three magazines that were sort of based around that. So it sort of just talks about her career um, and like I said about meditation, mindfulness, um, how to unplug from sort of day to day life. Um, and just how to sort of slow down and take each day as it comes. So I quite enjoyed that book. Um, I will do a review on all the books that I read whilst I was on holiday, if that's not already up, um, where I will talk a bit about this. And then I've got sort of the complimentary book to that, which is the Thrive Journal. I've not actually opened this yet. Um, so let's do that now, shall we? Um, I kept meaning to like open it and start it whilst I'm on holiday because I just, I know now that I'm not going to get to it for a while. But it's again sort of supposed to help you focus on being mindful. It's got all these different tabs. I mean, it's just a gorgeous book. It just, um, so it's got different tabs. It says mind and body, disconnect, priorities, gratitude, joy, give, trackers, journal. Um, so all kind of things like it's like a workbook so three random acts of kindness how did it make you feel right now I'm feeling um, so it's just asking you lots of different questions doing little tasks um, and then also it's got little bits of um, information that you can read uh, just so yeah it's like a workbook um, about helping you sort of detox, disconnect, and focus on your priorities. Everything she really sort of talks about in this book, this is the, the workbook to help you do that. So onto the things that I actually got while we're in Mexico. I will start with this because it's staring me right in the face. And it is my little raccoon friend. If you know anything about me, seen any of my videos, I love raccoons. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see a ton of raccoon photos. I love going to Mexico and it was one of the main reasons we actually went back because I love the interaction with the animals there. Um, if you watch any of our vlogs from either last time or you're going to watch this time you'll see we have a load of interaction with the raccoons and the cotis, it's a ton of lizards um, but the raccoons are just my favourite and when I saw this in the gift shop they didn't have it last time we went, it says Riviera Maya on the side, just, they're just stickers but I was like we all know that raccoon is coming home with me at the end of the week. I just love them, they're my favourite animal and I'm obsessed with them. So I got him. So at our resort, which was the Grand Serenus, uh, they have two market nights a week. It's usually I think Tuesday and Friday or Saturday. 
um, where they invite vendors to come and set up stalls. Um, a lot of the time um, you can get things personalised um, and if you don't want to leave the resort at all, um, if you don't want to go to the local towns, it's a way of getting slightly different souvenirs um, without leaving the resort really. Um, some things you can find in their shop sort of most of the time but again you can get things personalised and it's just an exciting atmosphere um, I know I think it's on one of the nights they have a full on Mexican night with games and it just gives you that Mexican market atmosphere and um, after a while it does get slightly annoying because they will as you walk past every store want to grab your attention um, and get you to look at their stuff on the first night it's fine but once you've looked and you've bought your stuff it can be slightly tedious um, but you just sort of power through say no thank you and that's what we did so I'll show you the things we bought there is um, when we last went we got a piece of artwork um, that was hand painted he sort of uses his fingers to paint on this tile slab and we really wanted to get another piece they did, he wasn't the same guy, they had about two or three other guys that we saw doing it. Um, we didn't see the guy we saw last time, um, but they were all doing the same sort of technique and um, we got a couple of items. I can't remember the prices of these, but to us they were really worth it. So we got this piece, which is slightly different because it's on wood, uh, but it's still got that sort of oil paint on it. And this is in a surfboard shape and it shows uh, Chichen Itza and uh, we actually went to Chichen Itza, we've been to Koba as well and we've already got a sunset like beach one so we wanted something that showed some of the ruins he put Mexico 2018 at the bottom and it's also got our names on the edge um, so I'm not quite sure if we'll put this in our lounge or our kitchen um, but I really like that it's sort of a a sunset theme and it's really really pretty and when we bought that he threw in a little extra which I think they do for everyone because I remember we got one last time and it's one of these coasters and this is what it looks like so it's like a little beachy scene um, I've got another one of these which is like black and white with a little bit of orange on it and I've actually got it in a little table at the top of the stairs um, I don't actually use them as coasters I just use them more as sort of decoration pieces I may put a like a sticker on the back so I can hang it I've got a little sticker with a hook so you can hang it up onto the wall when they're really strong uh, so I might do that but yeah again a really sort of different souvenir I was really drawn to this one guy that had all these handmade bowls and plates and I think Darren just looked at me and thought, yeah, Sophie wants some of that. So it took me ages to figure out which ones I wanted to get because there were so many beautiful designs and colours and I didn't have a specific purpose for them at the time, I still don't, uh, but I knew that I would regret it if I didn't get them. So the first one I got is this wooden sort of tray. I thought, how cute would this look on the side to put like a candle or little trinkets in? Um, so it's like turquoise and it's got a glitter on it I don't know if you can tell it's got a glitter on it and um, it's then got sort of an epoxy coating on it um, and I just thought that was really cute really different and I love getting things when we travel to remember the places we've been and the other one I got was this massive bowl um, but it's sort of more like a tray, so I think we may put this in our lounge on our coffee table just to corral like all our remotes and different things like that. Again, it's that turquoise with the shimmery glitter. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, uh, but yeah, so slightly heavier souvenirs to bring back, but not, like not ridiculous, it's not like ceramic or anything. Um, but if you can fit them in your luggage, they're really beautiful pieces. Um, he did do a lot smaller bowls. Um, you can get like tapas style bowls for like sauces and things. Um, so yeah, I enjoyed those. So the last thing I got at the market was this. Now, I feel we were slightly conned out of it price wise because when we went to Playa del Carmen, these were everywhere and I'm sure they were cheaper. Um, but you know, 
the easiness of it being at your hotel and being swept up in like being one of our first nights there I bought it and this is again a little statue of Chichen Itza um, and this is sort of the pink almost like stone quartz with grey I'm not quite sure where we're going to put this yet probably downstairs um, in our lounge where we've got sort of the rest of our little Mexican pieces um, from when we went a couple of years back um, but it just looks really cute they do these in a ton of different colours um, but they're all sort of in this um, like stone material in different sizes as well. I think this was the medium size. Um, but definitely I think this was something that was cheaper in Playa del Carmen. So you can definitely haggle. That's what Darren did um, pretty much on all of these items that we bought at the market. We haggled when we were in Playa del Carmen. Um, if you're in the little shops, you can haggle. The bigger shops that are sort of main tourist shops aren't going to haggle really. Um, but yeah, definitely in the resorts, when they do the market night, you can haggle. Okay, that wasn't the last thing we got the market night. This was the last thing, and this is probably one of the things I'm most excited about. I saw this one night, I caught a glimpse of it, and it just, I couldn't forget about it. And when it was the next market night, I was like, Darren, come look at this. And it is a blanket. And if you see most of like the Mexican blankets, they're all really bright colors. Um, and that's just sort of not, it wouldn't have fitted in with our style. And I saw this one and I was like, that is perfect. It's a really nice, chunky blanket. And let me show you the sort of the colours of it. So it's pink and blue and mauve and white. Um, and it is just really pretty. It's got sort of these grey tassels on the end. It's really, really big, as you can see. Um, and I just thought, how cosy will that be in the winter? It's a gorgeous pattern on it. Um, like a striped pattern and I just thought the colours were really nice it was really different I really didn't see many throughout our whole holiday especially when we were in Playa del Carmen and they have these sort of type blankets everywhere I only saw a couple that were in sort of the lighter pastel colours um, so I really was happy to get that but I'll move on to the things we got at Playa del Carmen which is sort of the local town that we were near um, closest to Riviera Maya and I got, well, we got this uh, little magnet because we didn't get one last time because last time we went, we didn't have a house uh, together. And um, so this time we definitely got pieces with our house in mind. So we got this magnet, which is a little sombrero. It says Riviera Maya on it. And I just really like the colors of it. So we got that. Next thing I was really excited to get and it's a top. I wanted one of these last time. I saw them at the airport at the end and I was like, they were quite expensive so I didn't end up getting one. And it was like my mission to find one when we went this time and I thought Playa del Carmen, they're gonna have cheaper ones. And they had a whole store. Um, I actually have a business card here somewhere. Um, it's called Rosalia. Um, and it's handcrafted Mayan textiles wholesale. So this is what it looks like. And then that's the information on the back, if you want to know where it is. Um, and I got this top. Oh, they have just tons and tons piled up. And you pretty much see most of the like the locals, the Mayan locals sort of wearing this. Um, in touristy shops this is sort of what they wear and it's this white sort of linen cotton top with this beautiful embroidery on it so that's the front it's even got a little bit on the back I don't know my battery just died but like I was saying I think this is a children's top because I tried on loads and um they were definitely way too big so you definitely have to try them on there's no sort of specific sizes it just says ch on it so uh that's that and i've not worn it yet so i can't wait to wear that especially now it's a lot warmer here the next thing i'll insert a close-up of because it might be hard to see and it is this pendant it didn't come with the chain i already had the chain and put it on there whilst we were out there but it's this little sort of mayan circle <laughs> it looks very sort of mayan aztec uh so that is what it looks like actually you can see it quite well there. so it's got that sort of turquoise color to it and i just thought it was really pretty it hangs really nicely um if i come up close it sort of hangs about there 
and they had loads of different sizes um, this was the one that I liked and uh, yeah that was a piece of jewellery that I got. So the next two things are actually things I'm going to have to put away for Christmas. But they have these out pretty much everywhere in Playa del Carmen. And they are little Christmas ornaments. Darren was like, why do we need those? But I was like, we have to get one from everywhere we go. Like, we have collected them as we've gone along. We've got one from Vegas, one from Disney. And it's just sort of tradition, really. Um, but he was hungry at that time, so he was not that interested. But I got these. They had loads of different ones, loads of different creatures. But these were the two sort of Christmassy ones. Uh, so I got the Santa one. And he's got a little bell in him. And it says Playa del Carmen. Because we don't actually have a Santa for our tree. And then I got this little Rudolph. And he's got little legs as his little bell. And I got one of these for my mum as well. So I just thought they were really cute. Um... A little ornament to put on our tree. So we're actually coming to the end of the things that I got now. Um, one of the things that I got on one of the last days actually, and I got one of these for my mum as well, is a sarong. Um, they sell these in the shop and I really like this one. Um, this is a lilac one. I let my mum choose but I knew that she would go for the other one because it was like pink and reds and it had a bit of navy in it um, and I knew I would end up having this one. Um, and this is what it looks like if I stand up. So it's got what is that? Is that a bird? It's a moon. <laughs> moon and stars. Um, and it says Riviera Maya on it. It's a bit creased. Um, and it's got the tassels and that at the bottom. So yeah, I thought that was really nice. And um, I wish I could have sort of used it. But I didn't want to use it in the last couple of days in case my mum did want this colour for whatever reason. Um, but she didn't. But... Um, I can obviously take it with me on future holidays and I don't have a sarong, I've got like full dress cover up but sometimes you just want something to sort of whip around your waist and um, so I got that and that was, I think I still had the price on this so one of the, the only prices I could probably tell you of this video this was 248 pesos so pretty reasonably priced I think that's about like, I want to say £6 or something like that like it's really not much um so a great souvenir if you want to get it for someone the last sort of actual mexican thing we got is when we went on our excursion to chichen itza um we went because it was with tui they do a couple of different things so you swam in a cenote and you also visited a mayan village where they had the, the women would come out and they had lots of things for sale uh that they handmade obviously you can't haggle with them it's not very fair um but pretty much everyone there bought something they had friendship bracelets hammocks chili honey um lots of different things it was a very sort of humbling experience and even if you didn't really like anything you sort of felt obliged to buy something not in like a forced way you had to buy something you definitely didn't but you felt like these people have so little and it means so much to them that you buy something from them so we actually bought this little jar of honey and we don't pretty much ever have honey never eat it put it on anything um but we we felt like getting it this was only 40 pesos which is like a couple of pounds so um it really doesn't break the budget again another great item souvenir for someone if you know they do like honey it's kind of cool to say it's come all the way from mexico We've not tried it, so I can't say how great it is or not, but that was that that we got. And then finally, I got three books at the airport on our way back. I didn't plan on getting these. Um, I still was reading that um, Thrive book, um, but I got these. This is the one I'm reading at the moment. This is Rookie on Love, um, which I'm not overly keen on. It's sort of lots of stories and poems and except some loads of different people on different things about relationships with yourself and other people um meh I'll have to see how that goes this one really intrigued me it's knit your own murder a needlecraft mystery and it like the cover with that cat just cracked me up um so and that was t only 249 pesos um so again not much and then I got this one which is called Dove Arising. I need to make sure before I actually read it, this is the first in the series, because this is apparently a series. And this is more sort of futuristic, um, set 
in space um, in a lunar colony and um, I just thought it'd be interesting to read at some point. Not that I've got much time to read at the moment but I was obviously still in that reading phase from holiday. So that is all that I bought whilst we were on holiday. I hope you enjoy this video and we're pretty sad to be back but lots of exciting things coming up in the next couple of weeks. So yeah, I will see you soon and stay tuned because there are going to be obviously the Mexico vlogs coming up if they've not already started to go up and also some other Mexican tips um, and Mexico excursions uh, related videos. So stay tuned for that. So yeah, bye guys.